Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com, and this is part six of our BDD with Selenium and SpecFlow video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about generics for pages in our BDD with SpecFlow and Selenium. So, before watching this part, I would request you to watch part five, since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. So, what is this generics all of a sudden in automation testing? What is the point in generics to be used? in our automation testing for our PDD and spec flow because in our last video of our video series we were finding some problems while working with the different pages since the page should be of same type only then we can access the methods which is available within that particular type type here I'm specifying is the class which has the objects of the particular page so we were facing some problem in that and that's why we did some of the casting which is also called as boxing and also we tried to do an unboxing of the operations so which was kind of very hard operation and also it was not very type safe if we talk in a c-sharp way so we are going to introduce something called as generics so generics introduced to the dotnet framework the concept of type parameters which makes it possible to design classes and methods that differs the specification of one or more types until the class or method is declared and instantiated by the client codes. For example, by using a generic type parameter T, you can write a single class that other client codes can use without incurring the cost or risk of runtime cast or boxing operation. So this is what I was about to say. So the boxing operation is completely not required unless until you say them. So the main intention of using generics is to maximize the code reuse type safety and performance so that is the purpose of using generics in C sharp and we are going to use the same concept in our coding as well so let's not waste our time and flip to Visual Studio so this is the same project which we worked in our last part as well and as you can see in our steps like EA steps.cs we did some kind of casting operation right here we created a separate class called properties collection.cs and we had something called as current page which was great that's not a problem but every time we try to cast by this boxing and unboxing operation we were doing these things which was kind of very pain and that's the reason I think I don't like this and even you don't like it while you start working with it in a long run and that's why what we're going to do is we're going to introduce something called as generics in our code so for doing that what I'm going to do is first I will go to my basepage.cs right here I'm going to have a method like public t so t is the type so this is a generic type and even we don't know what it is you can also specify it as i if you want to but t is the convention used by Microsoft so we're going to use this and then we're going to convert whichever page that you're going to pass and also I'm going to specify where the t is of type base page right and then I'm going to return this T by casting it to this page so right now this seems to be a little confusing and even doesn't make any sense right but this is what it is it will actually convert your page to this type which are type that you want to pass to the base page type because all your page are inheriting from this base page so I'm going to save this guy. So now instead of this property collections.cs where we have this public static base page of current page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this auto implemented property little bit to hold the value which we are passing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just replace this code what I have written to this one. So again it is a property the current page but here what I'm doing is in the setter of the property I'm setting the value which I'm passing to the property in the scenario contest dot current and the key is class so actually the current is a dictionary which is available in a scenario contest so again scenario contest dot current we have already discussed about this in BDD and SpecFlow video series of Exit Automation channel so please go ahead and watch that so you'll understand what it is so what I'm trying to do is I'm just saving the value which I'm passing or setting to this property 
into this particular dictionary with this key value and then I'm returning that value to the caller since we already know that it is going to be of type base page I'm just getting it straight away right from here right so this is the one change which I have made in this properties collection class right and then let's go to the ea step.cs or login step.cs right so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all these hard-coded pages so let me delete this and even this one is not required so I'm going to remove this guy and here instead of page.login what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the property collection dot current page dot and this is the method which we wrote just before so I'm just calling this as of type so here I'm going to pass the page type as the login page right and now if you hit dot you can see that all the properties and the methods which we have within this login page is just bringing up here so here we have a method called login right and here you can pass the username and password so I'm just going to leave this as it is right see the code is now super simple and similarly wherever we have this page I'm going to just replace this with the code like this and you already know that once the click login is done it is going to return me of type EA page so I'm just going to hold this value to the property collection dot current page like this and then instead of writing this way again what I can do is I can just paste this code but here as you can see since it is not going to be of type login page because in login page we don't have this is logged in we have this in EA step this is throwing us an error so now if I change it to EA page the error is gone right see the code is now very neat and it's also very meaningful if you see this code how it looks like right I'm just gonna save this code and then let's go to the EA step and again I'm going to replace all these values this guy is going to be again of type okay this is not login page this is going to be of EA page so I'm going to just replace these guys to EA page great I'm going to save this super and then again these class declarations are not required anymore so I'm going to save this. That's it. See? Again here it's going to be login page. So that's fine. So I'm going to save this code. Great. So now the code looks super cool. And now we have implemented a little bit of inheritance concepts and again a little bit of generics here. And also we have modified our code to adapt to these changes which we have made. And now if you try to execute this code, it will run fine as expected. So I'm going to the test explorer and then I'm going to enter all the details in the user form of a page. So let's run this letter test. And this will open me up my browser. And it should navigate to exitautomation.com. Great. Hmm. Now we're getting an error here. So what is this error? Message system dot null pointer exception. Yes. So what is this error? Why is this error is appearing? So the error is because for the first time while we try to log in to our application, we should tell the current page property, this guy, that the initial page of our website is going to be of type login page. But but we have not specified it anywhere in our code. So we have to somehow tell that. So where can we tell this? Where is the best location to specify that particular piece of code? So since it is going to be of type login and this is the first page is going to happen. So once the navigation of the page is happening, I mean where you open up the browser with your URL, you try to set the value there. So here you can set the current page is equal to new login page. So this is the only time that you need to set the page right again this is going to be a little uh, different code uh, I mean we can try to tweak this code as well 
but for this contest of video we can just stick with this kind of code but in future we can change this code as well right I'm just gonna save this code right now and now if I try to run this piece of test it should work fine as a specter alright so it's typing the username and password and also it's going to type the initial middle name and first name see everything's working fine and the test got passed super so here's our output so everything is working as expected so this is how we can modify our code and implement the generics as well as the concept of page navigation much easier and much clearer than ever before so that's it guys this is how we can achieve these concepts into your test so thank you very much for watching this video and have a very great day